Hello guys, it's your girl Candy Lee Kyla here back with another video. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to film this video for y'all today. Um, but before I get into that, I just want to say thank you to everybody who watched my last video, which was the what I got my son for Christmas video. Thank you for all of the likes, the comments, the, the subscribers, the new subscribers that I got. Thank you so much for all of your support on that video. It just means so much to me. Um, I Like I said, I love those kind of videos. I love this time of year. I literally watch people's what they got their kids for Christmas videos. Like every day I wake up and I'm like, who posted something new? Which I need to stop because if you look behind me, I have bought more stuff for him. Um, this video is the stocking video, but I wanted to share with you guys um, the new stuff that I got him as well for Christmas. I'm, I'm really done this time though, y'all. Like I promise I'm done shopping. I need to stop watching y'all's videos of what y'all got y'all kids because y'all inspired me to go out and spend more money on gifts that he probably doesn't need. Um, but yeah, so I will, I have the stockings here. I'm actually gonna show that a little bit later. I'm gonna try to run through this real quick because my last video was like a, an hour long and I'm like whoever sat through that whole thing y'all are the real MVPs um but yeah I am excited to share with y'all real quick um just a few other things that see I say a few and then I look around and I'm like this is at least 20 more gifts I'm I need to stop but this right here okay is what Okay, I, I was looking for the tag and I just can't believe this. I probably actually did spend this much, but this was $16.99, y'all, at Burlington. I'm disappointed if I <laughs> if I actually spent that on this because okay, there's nothing wrong with the gift, but it's not $16.99 worthy, in my opinion. But this is the Band and Flex Captain America and Iron Man versus Thanos. Um, in the last video, y'all probably saw that he got the Spider-Man and Doc Ock version of this. So we went to Burlington and he saw this and he wanted it and he doesn't have Thanos. So that was my justification in buying this. But I really just am so disappointed that I spent $16.99 on this. But if you have an Avengers loving kid, definitely get them this gift. This next gift. Oh, if you have a kid who's watching anything on YouTube right now, you have seen the ad for this. That song is stuck in my head. It just lives rent free. Robo fish, robo fish, some, 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 some. I don't even know the words, but y'all, it just is so catchy. And every time I see the ad, my son goes crazy for the ad. So I knew I had to get him this. I actually bought him this um, for his Thanksgiving basket, day after Thanksgiving basket that I gave him. And when I got it, the part over the fish was like, crack like almost like somebody tried to steal the fish out of the box so target sent me a replacement and i am so excited to give him this y'all so you put this like the fish bowl and what does it say it changes color oh mm. okay i didn't know it changed color swims like a real fish and swims in five directions so um i'm excited to actually see him open this um and I think for his stocking, I'm gonna get him some more of the little fish. I think they sell the fish for like $8 on Walmart if you just wanna get the fish instead of this whole thing. I think with the with the bowl, it was $15. So for the bowl and the fish is 15 and just the fish is eight. So definitely get into this for your kids. This came from Target, like I said, they had to replace it because the first one I got was a little bit crazy this okay so my son has been asking for a hot wheels big rig for a very long time um and so i saw this on sale at kohl's i believe for 16 dollars um oh it says 19.99 but i no, it wasn't that because in the store they have like a certain percentage off so i believe i only spent 16.99 on this but it is like the 18 wheeler little hauler oh it says it's the blasting rig so apparently you can put the cars on there which as y'all can see it does come with some hot wheels we love when they give us extra cars but the cars can like blast out of the front okay oh yeah 
Yeah, yeah, he's gonna love that. And in his stocking, which you guys will see in a little bit, he's getting quite a few Hot Wheels. Um, yeah, he's getting a lot of Hot Wheels, actually more than he probably needs. Over here, he has been asking for a police car and I wasn't gonna get him one just because I, every time I went in the store, I didn't see one that I liked. But then we were in Burlington and I saw this one. It's like a monster truck police car. So y'all already know how he feels about the monster trucks. And then you put a police vehicle looking thing on it. Oh yeah, this is the gift right here. Oh, and $7.99. He's gonna love this. I believe it lights up and makes sounds. I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, but he did not have this, so that was the justification <laughs> for me buying him this. He has no police cars and he loves police cars. So I think he's going to get a kick out of that. Uh, this was like a necessity. Um, he has a helmet, but it ain't Spider-Man. And so if you watched the last video, you know that he's getting a Spider-Man scooter, a light up scooter. Um, and I wanted for him to be Spider-Man from head to toe. So I saw this at Walmart and I believe, uh, I don't know that this was $15. I think it might've been like 11 um, for this. And it's for his age, the three plus age. And it's just so cute. It's gonna look so cute when he rides his scooter. Uh, they did have like the, <clears throat> the elbow pads and the knee pads as well. So I'm gonna try to go back and get that because like I said, he gotta be decked out as Spider-Man. So that, this was, this is a gift, but it's like, it serves a really good purpose to keep his head safe while he's riding. This right here is something that he asked for. And I was waiting and waiting and waiting for it to go on sale. And it finally did. So as y'all can see, the retail price is $28.99, but I actually got it for $20 from Kohl's. Uh, this is the Paw Patrol Neon Rescue Vehicles gift pack. He saw this in the store one day, y'all, and went crazy. And I stocked it and I stocked it and it finally went on sale. So if you have a Paw Patrol loving kiddo, definitely get them this. Do y'all see the colors on that? Wow. Yes, and like he loves anything transportation, anything cars, he's for it. So this thing, and he's not expecting this not expecting this at all so i am so excited to give him this and if you watched the last video you know that he's getting the the big pup truck wait what is it big pup big pups truck stop hq i'm gonna get it out this year the big truck pups pit stop hq is what it's called um these cars don't go with that he's actually getting the the trucks for each of the pups from paw patrol to go along with that but this is just something that I wanted for him to have. I considered taking them out and putting them in the stocking, but I actually really like this packaging. So this will just be wrapped um, under the tree. I'm gonna put this to the side because that's actually gonna go in his stocking and that might go in there too. So the last two things, these two things behind me, I am so excited to share with y'all. And this is the reason that I kind of went down the rabbit hole of buying more gifts. In the last video, I told y'all that his like the gift that he would be most excited for was that Blaze and the Monster Machines five pack monster truck set that I found him because they don't have a lot of toys for Blaze. So literally like two days after I put that video out, I went to Walmart and I was looking for those Paw Patrol trucks to go with the, the truck stop HQ that I got him. So I'm browsing the Paw Patrol section at Walmart and I see Sky's little truck. I see Zuma, I see Rocky, and I'm trying to figure out which one I wanna get. And as I'm perusing um, that section of the store, out of my peripheral vision, I see the Blaze and the Monster Machines like logo. And I look real quick and look back because I'm like, girl, you tripping, that's not, that ain't Blaze. Those aren't, that's not a Blaze sign that you see. You just, you tripping. So I look again, y'all, I about had the Holy Ghost in Walmart. Let, let me just show you. I don't know when this came out. I'm still shook. Actually tell y'all about this. I don't know when this came out. And it was just sitting there at Walmart next to the Paw Patrol toys. Get into it, get into it, okay? This comes with, this is the real tea. 
Blaze and Crusher. My son is going to lose his mind. In the show, Crusher is the bad monster truck. He's the one who's always cheating in the races, trying to play tricks on the other monster trucks. And my son does not have a Crusher. Crusher does come in that five pack that I showed you in the last video, but that pack is like the neon cars. This is the traditional looking Crusher car and my son is going to absolutely lose his mind. But it comes with this slime. So basically, basically you build the track and they race each other and then there's like, I think at the end, you put the slime in this part and they get all dirty. Okay, so that's the part that I'm kind of like, because I don't like messy things. Um, but I don't care. He's going to love this. And then what I was thinking was I could buy him some additional slime and put him put in his stocking for this particular gift. He has no idea that he's getting this. And I'm so excited to give him that. But that's not all. There was another Blaze toy right next to that one at Walmart. This one and I'm so, I'm kind of like, should I have gotten both of these? So remember, I just showed y'all that he got this Hot Wheels, like, big rig. But I feel like once he gets this gift, he not gonna even think about this one no more. In the show, Blaze and the Monster Machines, Blaze can transform into anything. He can transform into a boat, a robot, a plane, a train, a 18-wheeler. So inside of this box, is the 18 wheeler version of blaze i can honestly i could throw every other gift that i bought him away and just give him this and this other blaze gift and he would be he would be content but on the top of the truck it transforms into like a racetrack so I actually, I'm excited for him to open this because I'm kind of like, how is this stuff going to work out? But let me show you the back. Let me show you the back. Yes, do y'all see it? Oh my God, he's going to lose his mind. And it comes with this character. I don't know who this is though. Does it say on here? Nope, it doesn't say, but this is also a character from blaze I, I can't remember their name though but he doesn't have this car so he gonna lose his mind because he's also adding to his monster truck collection with these and i'm just y'all <sighs> christmas this year is about to be something special a whole movie all right so now i'm gonna get into the stocking stuff so let me start off with just showing y'all what the stockings are so I got these stockings from Pottery Barn last year. Let's show you. Get it to it. Yes. Um, but here's the real key. Where's the button? Oh, and I just got excited. I just got excited about that. They light up. <laughs> they light up, y'all yes so this is from pottery barn i was inspired to get these stockings by jeanette here on youtube she does like the christmas videos every year and she has these light up stockings and they're big like a lot of stuff can fit off in here um y'all excuse santa claus for how he is looking he looking a little disheveled because he has been stored away for a little bit um but get into the lights Oh my gosh, I, that's my favorite part about these. Um, and I got myself a stocking. I don't know if you guys know this. I think I mentioned this in my last video, but I'm a single mother. So my stocking is just for the aesthetic. Like I don't put anything in my stocking. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't even know what to put in my stocking. Um, because growing up, my mom never, we never had stockings growing up, like ever. So um, last year was my first time ever doing a stocking just period in general in life um and i did that for my son and i watched a lot of people's videos last year just to figure out what do y'all even put in there um so i i kind of feel like the gist of the stocking is to like re re up on like 
personal hygiene stuff, um, candy, some toys. Yeah, uh, is that right? Cause that's, that's, that's pretty much so what I got uh, from doing it last year. So this year is kind of the same thing. Oh, I just realized I left something downstairs, but I'll tell y'all what that was that I left downstairs that needs to go in his stocking. Um, but I definitely think I went overboard this year with getting him stuff. His stocking is primarily going to be Hot Wheels and monster trucks, superheroes. Yeah, so if your kiddo is into that, this is definitely the video uh, for you. Um, but as far as my stocking, I'm not gonna put anything in there. Single moms, do y'all stuff y'all own stocking? And if so, tell me what you put in there, cause I, I don't, I wouldn't even know what to, I would not know where to start with putting something in my stocking. So I, I just solely focus on him uh, to make sure he's good with his stocking. Okay, so I guess I'll start with the stuff that's up here. And honestly, I'm not even sure if this will fit in there. This is giving too big <laughs> for the stocking, but it is this Imaginex Batman like hover drone thing. No, it does not hover. It's just a bat sickle. So you can make it look like a motorcycle or you can flatten out the wheels and it'll look like that. So he's, he's into Batman now. Recently he's gotten into it because they have like that Batman show on YouTube that the kids can watch. It's like the animated show. So he watches that. So he's really been into Batman lately. It does come with a little figurine down there. We love when they put the figures in there. And yeah, oh, it shoots out these little discs. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, I think he's gonna like that. I'm looking now. Y'all, I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, mm -mm. nope. <laughs> it might just be sitting outside the stocking. Um, and also, I give him his stocking the day before Christmas. Um, because on Christmas, I just want for him to go out there and just start ripping into all the gifts. The stocking will already be taken care of the night before, so the gifts can get their due respect on Christmas. Um, so I might just sit this next to the stocking, or I could wrap it, but I'll probably just give it to him the day before. <clears throat> I do like to give him a book as well uh, with his stocking if I can, and I have been obsessed with these polka dot books. I wanted to get him this last year, but as you can see, they're kind of expensive. This was $16.99 at Kohl's. I actually got it on sale. I believe it was $10, but these are, they're heavy books. But basically you press the button and it makes just like a loud popping sound. So, oh, uh oh, oh, there it is. Isn't that like so cool? It's probably really annoying actually, but I think he's gonna like it. like a poppet toy but in book form yes indeed yes he's gonna love this and he's learning at the same time so these are the polka dot books i believe you can get these off of amazon as well but kohl's does have them and sometimes they go on sale so i got him the what's your favorite color book they have some for like uh ocean animals safari animals so just look around and see what you can find but this will be for his stocking and it is also too big so this will be sitting outside of the stocking as well, but he will get that the day uh, before Christmas. All right, so let's see. So let's get into all of the Hot Wheels, y'all. Like, it's in this Five Below bag. But these did not come from Five Below. They came from Kohl's, Walmart. Yeah, Kohl's and Walmart. So I got him this two-pack. Oh, I didn't know he... I forgot I bought these. Oh, yes. It is the Marvel and Monster Truck collaboration. Oh my God, y'all. So he's getting an Iron Man Hot Wheel and a Thanos Hot Wheel. If y'all don't know, I'm an Avengers fan. So this has got me just like, yes. Okay, he's gonna love that. Yes, indeed. Put that to the side. Um... This one here is the dinosaur Hot Wheels. So he's getting the Motosaurus and the Mega Rex. This is the Motosaurus and this is the Mega Rex. Again, I might have to take these out of the packs and put them in the stocking. I kind of wanted to keep them in the packaging, but it might be too big. He is also getting 
this Adventure Force motorcycle. He's recently been into motorcycles. If you watched the last video, you saw that he's getting that three pack of motorcycles from his Burlington grandmother, which you gotta watch the video to know what I mean when I say that. Uh, but he's also adding this to his motorcycle collection. These Adventure Force ones were probably $5 or less um, at Walmart. Move that over here. More monster trucks, you guys. He is getting the big kahuna. This came from Kohl's and it was $5. Trying to grow his monster truck collection because he really only has a bunch of cars, um, like the Hot Wheels cars, but we're working on the monster trucks. Uh, so he's also getting this little grave digger. And I believe this one was $4.99 at Kohl's. And sometimes they have the monster trucks marked down to $3.99. You just kind of have to look and see what the prices are on the bottom of them. But on average, you can get them from $4 to $5. All right, so I also got him this demo destruction Hot Wheels set. I really like this. Look, it comes with a little tow truck. Yes. Right here, these came from Kohl's and they were $6.25. I love when they come in those packs like that. Okay, so next up, because I feel like in your stocking, you gotta have these mystery packs where you don't know what it's gonna be. So I got him five of these Hot Wheels mystery packs. These came from Bargain Hunt and they were $1.50 a piece. So he'll get to open those. He loves anything mystery where he don't know what, what exactly is gonna come out. I got him this Slinky from Five Below. He's never had a Slinky. And I was like, he'll probably enjoy just like spreading it out and putting it back together. Um, so that's that. I got him this Spider-Man flashing LCD watch from Five Below. This was, I believe, $3. I don't believe it was the full five, but he does not have a watch. And I was like, look at this cute little Spider-Man watch for his little wrist. So yeah, he's gonna love that. I also got him, these were from Five Below. So he's getting a Spider-Man pin. And you know I had to do it for the culture. We're getting him a Black Panther pin as well. And as you can see, these were $3.25 at five below. He loves to write. Like I have like uh, my desk over here in the corner and I have like a bunch of different colored pens that he loves to just use my pens and write on anything pretty much. So now he's got his own. And then the last thing from five below, um, He's getting a skateboard for Christmas. I didn't even know that he liked skateboards, but when I found out that he did, I saw this at Five Below and I was like, this is perfect for a stocking stuffer. So it is the Spider-Man fingerboard. So you use your hands and you can, your hands are like the feet on the skateboard. You can flip around and just use your little imagination to do different tricks. And of course, Spider-Man anything we are going to purchase. So that is one other thing that he'll be getting for his stocking. Um, let's move into the superheroes action figures. So this right here, I actually saw recently at Walmart. It was a dollar on clearance and it is this Batman, Selena Kyle. I don't even know who this is. I don't watch Batman, so I'm not sure who she is, but he, he also has a big figurine of her down here that I'll show y'all. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, she was only a dollar. So I was like, okay, that's kind of cute. And it comes with her nice little props in here and a mystery card as well. So if you have a Batman loving kid, go see if this is on sale at your Walmart for a dollar. Okay, so now I got him the big Batman action figure. This one was $6.99 at Burlington. Okay, Batman. Selena Kyle, again, the bigger version of her. This was actually only $2.50 at Bargain Hunt because of the pink sticker. It says $5.50, but I only paid $2.50 for this big version of Selena. And had to get him a big Iron Man because he doesn't have one of these. He's got 
Spider-Man, Black Panther, Captain America. I think that's it. I really want to get him a Thor one of these. Um, but we've added Iron Man to his collection this year. So that will go off in the stocking. Um, oh. Okay, so this I just bought for him. It's a Play-Doh set. I believe I'm actually going to wrap this and put this under the tree and put this one in the stocking if I can. You guys saw this in the last video, um, but I also got him this <laughs> from Kohl's. It was $5.59. And so since this one is bigger, I would just give him the smaller one in the stocking. He is very much so into Play-Doh right now, y'all. And the fact that this one is like the kitchen one where he can make like fake pasta. He loves pasta. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna love that. So I recently got this from Walmart. It is the Adventure Force Dino Racer. It's a three pack of like little dinosaur cars and these were $3. So gonna put this in his stocking. I know he is going to absolutely love that. And it's such a good price. If you have a dino loving kid who also loves cars, run to Walmart, run. Okay, so before I get into the candy, the last transportation thing that's going in his stocking is going to be well before I tell you remember I told y'all I got these like Spidey and his amazing friends little cars from five below if you have a Spidey and his amazing friends loving kid run to five below and get these um but they only had like the main the main characters uh at five below like the main character cars um, so I was on Amazon one day and I could not believe that I saw this. My son loves the villains as well, um, in spite of his amazing friends. So he loves, um, Doc Ock, he loves Rhino, he loves Green Goblin. And I was like, dang, how come they didn't have those cars, uh, at Five Below? So I went on Amazon, you guys, and I found them. I found them. So let me actually see if I can open this. So this is the Doc Ock. Yo, he, he's not gonna know what to do with himself because he doesn't have any Doc Ock cars. And this is her, this is she from the show. Um, and so basically it comes with these discs that you can slip into the front and you can shoot them out. So these were supposed to come with that F.I. Philo, but they didn't. So each of these, cars comes with additional discs so he can now use these discs on those cars and shoot them out you guys oh my god get into it get into it doc ock doc ock yes oh my gosh so he's gonna get that one no i gotta open them all i gotta open them all because i love finding his amazing friends as well we've got <laughs> We've got Green Goblin. Yes, Green Goblin. He's got his little disc on the side. Um, who else? I'm trying to remember who all I bought. Who is this? Oh, the Hulk. That's right. He doesn't have. Okay, yeah, he doesn't have the Hulk. So he's getting a Hulk little car with the disc. Hulk came with some extra ones. And, oh yeah, okay, so the last one is Rhino. And if you have a Spidey and his amazing friends, loving kid, you know that they don't really have a lot of toys with the villains. So run to Amazon and get these. I spent $40 for for these and the reason why I had to spend that is because they didn't put all the villains in one pack. So for three of the cars, it was $16, but it came with Rhino, Miles and Black Panther, I believe. But remember I already had those. So I literally bought that pack just to get Rhino from it. Um, and the extra cars I'll be giving away to that orphanage that I mentioned in the last video. Um, but it was so worth it to me to get these because he, my son is going to absolutely 
lose it when he sees these in his stocking. Oh my God. Get into it. Get, just, just, y'all. <sighs> I'm so happy with that purchase. Okay. Oh, and then here's some additional little discs. So I'm going to put those all in his stocking. I, I, this is too much. This is again too much. I've outdone myself. I need to chill. So the last thing that I'm going to get or the last thing that he'll be getting is stocking is the candy. I mean, because let's be honest, <laughs> that that's really what we want in the stocking. So I got him these, how do I fix this? These like little Kinder Joy Christmassy eggs. Um, it was a four pack, but I broke off two of them to give him in his uh, after day after Thanksgiving basket that he already got. So these are the two that are remaining. He also... This was a two pack, but I already put one in the day after Thanksgiving basket. But it is this Disney Pop Ups lollipop, so it comes with like a Mickey Mouse lollipop holder and two lollipops. I'm gonna put that in his stocking. He's also getting, I feel like you have to get this in your stocking. Um, it's just a quintessential stocking hanger type thing but it is the m&m's candy cane so he will be getting those he's getting this strawberry watermelon baby bottle pop christmas how cute he's never had one of these um so i hope he likes it i mean we'll see and then he's also getting the reese's candy cane my son absolutely loves reese's so I think this will probably be the biggest hit candy wise and also the Kinder Joy eggs, but only for the surprise. He doesn't really like the chocolate part. And then the last thing that I got him are these giant Christmas lollipops. Um, I saw this on Walmart's website. I believe these were like, oh, $3.48. Can y'all see that price down there at the bottom? $3.48 for these. I got him two but there's 10 lollipops in here. So that's just too much candy. So I'll probably give one away to be quite honest. Um, Cause he'll be bouncing off the walls if he ate both of these, but yes. So that is it as far as what is in his stocking guys. I, I don't know. I don't know y'all. It's giving a lot. Like this whole little pack over here is, is supposed to go in this stocking. And I don't think, I don't think Santa going to be able to hold all of that. But whatever it can't go in there, we're going to just put it off to the side and let him um, enjoy it like that. So guys, that is the end of the what I got my son for his stocking. Um, and I hope y'all got some good gift ideas from that beginning portion um, of the video. I... Somebody did comment and say that they wanted for me to do a wrap with me video. So before I end this video, let me just give y'all a quick little disclaimer. I do not mind. <laughs> I don't mind filming a wrap with me video, but I only started wrapping gifts last year. I am no professional. It takes me, I'm, I'm a slow rapper because it takes me about four hours just to get through six gifts. <laughs> for that is because I'm messing up the gift paper be ripping and, and, and ripping and running all over the place and then after I wrap a gift correctly I have to pause for the cause and just admire the fact that I actually did it right before moving on to the next thing so I I will do a wrap with me video um I'm thinking I'll actually do two because as y'all can see I have a lot of stuff to wrap anyway um but I, I feel like for one of them I'll just do music in the background you know do like the sped up version with the music playing in the background and then for the other one I'm thinking I'll do like a chit chat rap with me because I love to talk I had such a good time filming that last video and just it felt like I was just talking to y'all um and so I would love to do that again maybe I can do like a a Q and a with that one I'm not really sure uh but I will be doing a rap with me as well um, so thank you guys as always for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Bye.